Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, we'll be addressing some questions regarding dating that I asked you guys to like ask me last week. So like, you guys replied, thankfully. <laughs> So let's get into it. This video is just based on my opinion of things and like I totally totally understand and respect if you have a different opinion and you might have a different opinion because like my opinions are like always and almost very absurd and like just stupid. <laughs> So yeah, like I don't think that they're stupid, but like many people think that they're stupid. I don't care if they, they think that they're stupid, but like uh, they might have, like I respect everyone's opinion. Like how important is it for your significant other to be close to your family or friends? It depends on person to person. For me, the person should be important to me and like I don't think others' opinions matter to me as, as much as like my opinion and my requirements and my needs do. How far should I be in the relationship to be comfortable with vulnerable conversations? So with me, it's different. Like when I meet a person, friend, stranger, or anything, I'm I'm a very vulnerable person. So I'll tell you my whole life story. <laughs> but yeah, but like maybe for you, um, I would say it it depends on the person who you are. So if you're a very open book person, then you can share it right away. But like if you're a person who keeps like, I I would say it depends on person to person because um, some people might. Um, have trust issues and insecurities and everything that's why they might be closed off to things which is fine which is fine okay you do you okay i'm i'm just happy for you <laughs> and um i would just say that take your time get comfortable with that person of yours and once you feel like oh I'm comfortable enough with sharing this this is with you and um, that's why I'm doing it then do that <laughs> I mean it should come to you by yourself like inside your heart like if you feel like you are open to like fully like crying like for me it would be like I won't cry in front of anyone like fully until like I really trust them and if I like cry in front of you like sobbing and everything then I'm comfortable with you so that depends on person to person how do you know that if a girl is just looking for a fling or a serious kind of thing um if I was that girl I would say just ask me but like again girls are complicated and I don't know what a girl might want yeah so just ask her maybe like that works why do girls always create a roller coaster instead of getting right to the point I honestly have no idea I mean I might be doing this too but like I honestly have no idea like no idea I do not understand girls personally they're very complicated <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's how I date boys, like, <laughs> no, I stopped dating boys too, because like, both of them are so complicated, so I don't date anyone. <laughs> I have a crush on her, but she doesn't have a crush on me, and that makes me go crazy for her even more. What should I do? Just, just give up. <laughs> Honestly. If she doesn't want you, then like I think that there's something better planned for you. So I think just move on, like cry a river, build a bridge and move on. Because <laughs> that's what most of us do and it's I know it's hard sometimes but come on, it's life. You'll get better things and just, just look at like the bigger meaning of life and then you'll be fine. What would you say are the best flirting lines? Please don't. <laughs> don't flirt. Just just tell a girl that you like her or tell tell a boy or that you like him or tell anyone that you like that you like them. <laughs> Alright? Just tell them. Just stop flirting and doing everything. Okay? Just just stop it. <laughs> 
जिसने स्टॉप मेकिंग थिंग्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फॉर एवरी वन आउट दैर ओके हाउ टू ओवरकम ट्रस्ट इशूज रिगार्डिंग लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रिलेशनशिप्स आई वुड से दैट इफ यू लव इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ दैन आई थिंक विद लव कम्स ट्रस्ट सो इफ यू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ बॉन्डिंग और लाइक अ रिलेशनशिप दैन इट शुडेंट बी अ प्रॉब्लम बट द बेस्ट वेज वुड बी जस्ट लाइक blindly trust someone because like even if you get blindsided it's just going to make you stronger so i don't get the point like it's life it happens it's okay everyone like not everyone like people cheat and like that that happens which is fine which is fine okay it's human and uh, i would just say that just trust <laughs> I don't know what else to say like I've not been in a relationship for like two and a half years what do you expect me to say <laughs> just just trust okay just trust in each other that's it I'm not the best person as you can see to address this issue <laughs> but <laughs> how to make him or her still be crazy for you even after several years of dating okay um do things like uh you used to like when you started dating first and there's like a two rule like every two days cook a meal for each other like what they want their special thing every two weeks go like or no weekend trip every two months go on like a something like near and close by trip and every two years go on an international trip and like to make things like good and everything in your relationship just be best friends okay just be best friends what does a boy need to do in order to pull girls way above his level i would say develop yourself emotionally and physically and mentally um to an extent that like even the girl who you say is way above your level falls for you be you and try to work on yourself all right because that's the only thing that is attractive to all human beings in my opinion what does it actually take to impress a girl it's different for every girl and just ask like the things that she likes and do them that's it do them <laughs> That's all for today you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm posting every Monday and Thursday and hopefully I'm switching over to PST Pacific Standard Time and I'll be posting 12 p.m. So I hope you're ready. I know we diverted from UBC to me 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 but let's change that back and let's go to UBC. cuz i love you we see you love you we see we all love you we see and we i want to give you information on you we see you know the insides <laughs> and my classes will be starting from 7th september all my classes are online and i'm just waiting for my visa as soon as it comes i'll fly off <laughs> and then We're gonna have that series of videos like the dog tour, the moving in, the ooh ooh ooh. You all know it. You all know it. So yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day, and I love you all so much. Bye.